Hello there boys and girls, it's Fog, and today I have a showcase video I'd like to share with you. This is the city gate that I've been building in my Let's Play Fog's World. Let me give you a better look at it here. I've taken it into a creative world so that I can show you around and, and give you a better look at it. Um, rather than do a tutorial on this gate, what I thought I would do is just, just do this instead. And uh, So this gate has a portcullis in it, and if you walk through the trip wires here, that will open up the portcullis. And, uh, or you can use a button instead and close it like that. Obviously the trip wires are meant to be used with a horse so that I can walk right up to the gate and it will open itself up. And then once it's open, I can ride through and it will close behind me just like that. So like I said, rather than do a tutorial on this gate, I thought instead I would do this. I've taken that design, reduced it to the bare minimum and raised it up a bit so that you can see the inner workings. And this here is that gate with everything except the essential operations removed. Um, now this is an extensible gate. It's extensible up to uh, 15 blocks in that direction. You can have it up to 15 wide. Uh, in fact, you could go farther if you added some repeaters to extend the signal farther, but uh, it's easily extendable up to 15 wide because each of these right here has a repeater at the junction and off it goes. Um, this uses a triple piston extender right here uh, designed by Mizuma. I did not design this extender. Uh, I did, however, design the rest of the mechanism around here for the opening and closing mechanisms. So this stuff right here that triggers the opening mechanism and the closing mechanism, that's mine. So there it is open. There it is closed. Um, do be aware if you choose to build this, these do have to be half slabs here. Otherwise, they will create a butt effect with the hoppers and droppers below, which you do not want. Uh, everything from here over is the triple extender that opens up the, uh, opens up the gate. And this mechanism right to here is a uh, flip-flop for opening or closing the gate. And this area over here operates the closing mechanism right there. So if you want to build this yourself, here's ground level. Dig down five deep. And you dig a seven by seven, or sorry, a seven by eight, seven by eight squared, eight deep, seven wide, or, you know, think of it as two plus however many wide you want your gate to be. And then add this little four by four mechanism on the end, duplicate that, and you're ready to go. And if you want to know what materials are, these are the materials you need for the opening and closing mechanism. You either use the tripwire hooks or you use the buttons. These redstone lamps stand in place of those blocks that the buttons are on. So obviously if you choose to go the button route, you only need two of those. You don't need four of them. Um, and over here, this is the mechanism. This is the materials that you're ne you'll need for each row that you build your gate. So in this case, I had to have five times these materials in order to build a five wide gate. So anyway, I'm going to provide this world download. Look for that in the description below. And that is pretty much all I have for you guys today. So thanks for watching. As always, if you liked what you saw here, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe and uh, come watch Fog's World. Tell your friends and tell your enemies to come watch Fog. And I will talk to you all another time. Bye-bye, guys.